much to it when, you know, when you're putting down your glasses and that, not to make racket with them. That's how I like to spend. Right, three, two, one.
thank you indeed. You're all very welcome to the Screeching House coming to you tonight from Marley uh, uh, House here. Uh, and of course, we're in the company of John, Johnny and Joan O'Sullivan and family. And indeed, Johnny is no stranger to the radio because back many years ago, Johnny was involved in trying to get a radio into West Cork and we succeeded at long last. And we're delighted, Johnny, to be here with you because we, it, it's a great opportunity to sample some of the talent out here in Balavorne. Uh, Balangiri, sorry, I'm just going beyond Balangiri, no. Uh, Balangiri. Now, for uh, just a word of welcome, we have Anna Marie O'Sullivan, and Anna Marie O'Sullivan have joined the uh, County Sound staff in Bandon, and uh, she's a very popular girl there. So, Anna Marie, take over, girl. Thank you, Joe. Um, well, on behalf of the O'Sullivan family, I'd like to welcome you all here tonight, and especially County Sound Radio and all taking part here. And I hope you all have an enjoyable night. Thank you. Give her a big bowl of basket. <laughs> now, our very first singer up, and I'm told she's a beautiful singer, and uh, she plays locally or sings locally around the area for a bit of light entertainment. Give, put your hands together for Eilish Toomey. <laughs> right, Eilish. I'll do a bit of a tra traditional song called right. the, Ma the May Morning Dew. How pleasant in winter for to sit by the hub Listening to the barks and the howls of a dog Or in summer to wander the white valley is true and to pluck the wild flowers in the May morning dew. Summer is coming, oh summer is here, with the leaves on the trees and the sky blue and clear and the birds they are singing their soft notes so true and the flowers they are springing in the may morning dew the house I was born in is but a stone on a stone. And all round the gardens the weeds they have grown. And all the kind neighbours that ever I knew like the red Rose of summer in the May morning dew. Oh, God be with the old folk, for they are now dead and gone. And also my brothers, young Dennis and John. As they trip through the heather, no wild tear to pursue. And their joys, they are mingled in the May morning dew. Thank you, Eileen Shomi. Lovely song indeed. May morning duo. Now we have Michael Minan. Uh, you have uh, um, you 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 have a, a recitation or you have a song or a story or something, Michael. A song. A, a song. Very shamanos and ailing. Good man. Mihala Minahan. Yes. A gasko digiktine. Katai guest, San Oran, so Tashkiala Dolesh. 
Sagos to be a dollar glee holla, nor the honey, carrier of ball her, remisher of moher, Agus door the lesh and tarry the cremach. Had he get nearly go modorche, a tour of Zordney's far naive, call him on. Near older Bachna Sasta, a sedere, door the lesh and call the hurt door, Agus the yin. There's to go by honey gas now, go read us a ball, as go her other day, a son of mock. She didn't call a hook she go. Oh, call the verm deal. Go to rock to home, Korea. That's a run, I can hear me here. So, oh, study, do lot. Fast a good turn of Congress, Lanig, don't start my fall. Queen Eagle Fear is go hot or so clear. Oh, my new year, no. No, the yellow on cown be on Holland Wacht can well be shall it go town train war. Os mini gerish er warte bur mich ser la yer und da un vreunig nu er hokig mag de es hostelen hab hun schinge goler und stoch See fish am o er willing an chnig beig an sur chidang al teblish beig el urgen lav agus lorish eg a hard to per hunt ser gehen hand an Oh, you can er have a love, yes, my dear, God, 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 to kick a dwag, and our heart is as fucked down like a slow crescent. August be a rich year, lochies, go hip on for your cock, and um, don't we unhand their fur. Oh, 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 the middle angel is a nice no lishnik yard of a drawing layer. Traffic on wheel by quilt goes comic again. Machnadin to crerach. Mohirachagos Mohos is Marigavin got lapi Hashan Nagras the hand Thank you. Thank you, Michael Moynan.
Now we have a, a very famous man up here, and we're very privileged indeed to have him, Oliver Keane, well-known musician. Uh, Oliver, I think, is only back from the States, is that right, Oliver? Yeah, I'm uh, back about a week, uh, Boston area. Boston. Familiar, yeah. And how long were you out there, Oliver? The month of March. March. The wearing of the green and oh, yeah. green beer. You were... You, you, and you harps and shamrocks. Yeah. You were out there for the Patrick's Day, of course. Yeah, Patrick's Day. Exactly. And of course, Boston is full of Irish. Oh, full of Irish. Well, the march is on Sunday this year. They didn't have I the see. march on Friday. They I had see. it on Sunday instead. I see. So they were all down Dorchester marching. I see. Now, um, you you played in the locals there, I suppose? Well, a friend of mine has a couple of bars out there, and that's how I, I was playing for him. I right see. Now. Great. And of course, there's great, some great musicians out in oh, Boston. Uh, the Irish culture at the moment is in the United States. It is, surely. More so and, than in Ireland. And they cherish it more. Oh, they love it. Oh, they love it. Oh, there's right. some great players coming out of that. Yeah, yeah. Like Liz Carroll, you know, that one there from That's Chicago, right, yeah. that's right. Yeah, great, yeah. great fiddle player. Joe, Joe Burke is living there, no, sure. Is Joe Burke living there? Yeah. Did you, uh, well, uh, he's living there like, you know, 19 yeah. months of the year, I suppose. A G, a G session with Joe Burke? No, 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 but with Fintan Stanley, all right. I see. Yeah. Another great box player. Oh, incredible box player. Oh, yes, yeah. Fintan Stanley is a genius in the box. And uh, Eileen Ivers is making the big time now. Oh, she is. Yeah. Flying it? Flying it, yeah. Flying it. Yeah. Oliver, what are you going to sing for us? Uh, some, um, a song called um, About uh, the Three Gypsies, the Regal Tegel Gypsies. Right. Take it away, Oliver. All right, thank you. There were gypsies three came to my hall door They came brave and boldly o oh. And one sang high and the other sang low And the lady sang the regal taggle gypsy o oh. That was upstairs, downstairs the lady went Put on her suit of leather o oh, And the cry all around from her front door She's away with the regal taggle gypsy o oh. Well, it was late that night when the Lord came in Inquiring about his lady-o And the servant's girl replied to him He's away with the raggle taggle gypsy-o Well, then saddle for me my milk white steed My big horse is not speedy-o And I will ride and I'll seek my bride That's away with the raggle taggle gypsy Well, he rode east, he rode west, he rode north and south also, but when he rode to the open ground, it was there that he spied his lady o. He oughta, why did you leave your house and your land? Why did you leave your money o? And why did you leave your own wedded lord? Follow the raggle taggle gypsy o. He oughta, what? care for me house and me land what do i care for money yo and what do i care for my own wedded lord i'm in love with the regal tegel gypsy yo that was there last night you had a goose feather bed blankets pulled so coyly yo and now you sleep in the wide open field in the arms of a regal tegel gypsy yo you're a what do i care for me goose feather bed what do i care for money yo what do I care for my own wedded lord? I'm in love with the raggle taggle gypsy yo. Thank you, thank you, Oliver. There's uh, Oliver Keane, a, l a lovely song indeed, and um, a very good man in the guitar, very professional indeed. So uh, I will be moving over now, and um, we'll, we'll be coming along to a lovely lady. I see her sitting over there, and she's all smiles. And I suppose she's a native of this area, and she's going to sing us a song. Put your hands together for Noreen Ring. Hey! <laughs> 
Wall of Kintyre, all mist rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here, the Mall of Kintyre. Much have I travelled and much have I seen. Dark crystal mountains, what valleys so green? Vast painted deserts, the sunsets and fire, as he carried me home to the Mall of Kintyre. Mall of Kintyre, a oh, mist rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here on the Mall of Kintyre. Sweep through of heather like dew in the glen, carry me back to the place I know well. Nights where we sang like a heavenly choir, and the life of the times on the Mall of Kintyre. Mall of Kintyre, oh, miss rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here and the Mall of Kintyre. Smiles in the sunshine and tears in the rain still take me back where my memories remain. Flicker remembers, grow higher and higher as they carried me back to the Mall of Kintyre. Mall of Kintyre, oh, miss rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here, the Mall of Kintyre. Mall of Kintyre, oh, miss rolling in from the sea. My desire is always to be here, the Mall of Kintyre. Thank you. Thank you, Noreen Ring, uh, lovely singer, and indeed, of course, a uh, good old swing to it. And I hope you're going to sing the chorus, uh, let you all join in in the chorus. Now we have back with us Kathleen Welch. You're very welcome back again, Kathleen. Kathleen opened our program there with Paddy uh, Quill, and uh, Kathleen is going to sing us a song. Schlieven the Mann. Lovely song. Alone, all alone, by the wave-washed shore. All alone, in the crowded hall. The hall, it is gay, and the waves, they are grand. But my heart is not there at all It flies far away By night and by day To the times and the joys that are gone The sweet maid that I met in the valley of Schlieve the Mon. It was not the grace of her queen. Her cheeks like the roses glow, nor her soft black eyes, nor her flowing hair, 
nor was it her lily white brow. Twas the soul of truth and of melting root, and her smile like a song. One bright summer's day in the valley of Schlieflamon. In the festive hall by the star washed shore, my restless spirit lies my love oh my love shall I ne'er see you more and my land shall you ever uprise By night and by day, I ever, ever pray. Why lonely my life flows on to see our flag unrolled and my true love. In the valley of Schlieff the Mon. Thank you, Kathleen Welch, and we're returning you to the studio in Brandon for a commercial break.
Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. You're all very welcome back again for the second half of the screen coming to you from our Lee house here in Ballingary. And that time you are listening to the one and only Jerry McCarthy and the box and Oliver Keane. Now could we have a sl uh, one short word with Jerry? Uh, Jerry is well known for playing the music. Uh, Jerry, where do you come from yourself? Um, I'd be from... Uh, hold, hold, hold. <laughs> go back, go back, go back. I'm a clan man, uh, to be honest. Uh, in between three parishes, a full lake, around the halfway house. And um, a lot of connection with Bellingary, um, I presume. Johnny and Eilish, I think, were the first people I went playing trad music with. Uh, which Johnny and Eilish, too, me. Years, yeah. I see. And uh, you, were, you, you were at the box when you were very young, were you? Well, I started away in Tin Whistle in a little school called Kolavuk. It was a, a Gaelic school, a chap called Sean and Wienicon, and uh, went on from there, really. Uh, I got see. a few classes in the fiddle from a chap called Connie Connell, which is fairly well known, really, and uh, progressed along myself okay. after that really. No. So you 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 play a lot for set dancing and Yeah, we we were in Manchester with the last two years now we we were playing for the World Championship set dancing oh, yes. um, for our own yes. individual groups. I so see. Um, we have a lot yeah. of interest in that. Great area. traditional area, of course around Clandroad is a great traditional area also. Well it is um coming up very well there in the set dancing um so lots of things happening there. Uh, neighbour of mine, Larry Creed, is doing an awful lot there for us. Yeah, I know Larry very well. Yeah. Yes, he's, he's, he's very good indeed. Good old set dancer too, you know. Very good indeed. Um, the, no, uh, Jerry, um, you're, you in Manchester how long were you over there? Um, what, what normally happens is uh, we, we get a crowd of between two and three hundred uh, to go over from different parts of Cork and Kerry sure. and um, actually Dunamore were successful <laughs> Last year they came first in their own section and I was happened to be lucky enough to be playing for them, so uh, it was a great boost for great, us. Great boost indeed it was. Uh, you don't play the violin at all? Well, only when there's no audience around. You know <laughs> <what I> mean. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your, put your hands together again for Johnny McCarthy. <laughs> Now we're back again, and we're back this time to Michael Minan, and he's, he have a, a story to tell us, Michael. Take it away, Michael. Well, this is a strange story that is uh, hard to understand it. It happened uh, way back when I was a young fella at... Uh, yes. Way back in 1914. I see. And... Uh, it concerns a beggar man that used to call to our house and stay and sleep in the settle when he'd been the locality. His name was Matty Long. And um, he was a very pious and holy man, and he was great friends with the local parish priest, Father Hurley, of that time. So much so that Father Hurley gave him a grave, a plot for a grave, free gratis, in the graveyard up in Gugu and Barra. But uh, on this particular night, my father, before going to bed, went out to have a look around the, on the yard to make sure that everything was in order. And he spotted this individual leaning up against an oak tree. And he went and investigated, and it was Matty Long was there. So he asked Matty, why didn't you go in, like, as you usually did? Well, do you know, he said, I was coming down over on the other side of the valley, and I fell off a high fence, and I'm badly injured. And I tried along the road, different houses, he said, and uh, nobody would, would take me in when they see my condition. When he said, I've come as far as here and I can go no further. But my father said, can't you come on in with me now, he said. My mother was gone to bed at the time, and he called up my mother, and they fixed him up in the settler. They stayed up with him because he was in a very poor state. And um, out in the night, my mother was saying to my father that uh, would it be better for him to go for the priest? That maybe he wouldn't do it till morning. But uh, my father said he wouldn't like to be calling out the priest in the dead hour of night because at that time it was the saddle horse they'd have. What would be a saddle horse, yeah? And um, anyway, in the morning, 
he went down to the parish priest and he came with him and he united Matty. But, uh, yes, he went out, my father went out with him when he was going away and uh, come here, James, to say, would you ever keep him? He won't be there long. Because he said we didn't take him on the road to hospital at that time. It was the seat car they'd have on the horse and seat car. He said he'd he down the road, miss. And uh, well, my father said I, I wouldn't mind. He said it would keep him at all. But uh, my mother, that time she was in the family way, and he said he didn't like to be too hard on her, like. But uh, Father Holly said to him, "Look here, Jim, to see everything will be all right. I'm telling you, no, to see everything will be all right." And furthermore, he said, "When Matty will die in this house, there'll be no further deaths in this house for the next thirty years." My father forgot about it, but. Uh, Way back in 1944, the winter of 44, my mother got a, a massive hemorrhage to the brain and she was dead within half an hour. The following day she was waking upstairs and Dini Crone, the late Dini Crone of Gugan Barra, came along and he see my father. He was counting something to see and he said, Father, are counting? There's only a week gone to see. Tell him the story about Father Hurley, what he said when he anointed Matty Long. There were only the 30 years were gone, and there was only a week gone with it. But I knew they, they wake, Matty, and uh, in due course, it was in the winter time. They had the keg of porter, as usual, of course, but uh, it, the night cut up with them before they took him to the grave anyway. So it was with, by candlelight, they, they, buried buried Ma- they buried Matty along. And uh, when, they <laughs> when they had him buried, they put a flag to his head. A flagstone and the other flag t- uh, to his feet. And uh, a local man, Danny Reardon of Din the Glass, he was uh, an airy man. He got the, the crowbar and he started punching the flag at his head. He punched a hole through the flag. Mm-hmm. Well, now, you see, for future generations, he said, everybody will remember where Matty Long was buried. That's the that story. Was good. <laughs> Uh, that was the intern, uh, the, the traveling man that you were talking about. Yes. Uh, that he did die, the traveling man. Oh, yes. Yes, I That's see. That's right. And you remember the old wakes, I suppose? Oh, very well, yes. Yes, and I they used to have the clay pipes, you say? They have the clay pipes and they used to have the snuff. The snuff yeah. and, and beer. Oh, the beer and, uh, and Katie Daly and all the rest of it. Well, I suppose... <laughs> 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 I suppose Katie would nearly wake up the dead. Oh yes, to the yeah. fact. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the American wakes at all, Michael? No. No, no I don't. They were they, they were gone before you, but you heard the old people talk about them. Well, I did, yes. But yeah, yes. but uh, I'm around with a good fight myself. You are, but uh, you're sound, huh? <laughs> they won't be sticking the, the crowbar down through the flag for a while for you. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> now, p- give me a big bull mass there, Michael Miner. <laughs> now, we're back here with Paddy Quill. And Paddy of the old melodion with the four steppers. And I thought I wasn't going at all, no Paddy. But um, Paddy is also an All Ireland winner. And uh, as uh, with our fourth part of our program there, Paddy played some beautiful music on the violin. But he's back here now this time with the melodion. So, Paddy, give us a tune on the melodion.
Tadi, I tell you, before we go any further, I just want to have one word with you. you uh, you're a great box player and a great uh, fiddle player. Yeah. And the music, uh, down through the years, you, mu you must be very keen in traditional Irish music. Uh, yeah. I see. Very good. And you're, you're also a very keen man in the horses. That's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And uh, uh, since oh. you were a young fellow, since you were a small boy, yes. you were a grown-up man, now, you know? Yes, that's right. <laughs> and uh, have you many horses? Uh, we have three, yeah. Three horses. Three horses. And some, uh, Bordeen told me a while ago that you won a big race very lately. We won last Sunday. Like we won a Where race. was that in? Uh, it was in Clannacilty. I see. Yeah. And um, what race was that? It was the top grade. I see. And were there many, many horses in for it? Five. Five horses? Yes. And um, Paddy's came in first? It is hard to... Uh, you want to be... Uh, he's only... He wouldn't be a right good horse, but he's... He's, he's handy. Right. He's, he's handy. handy. He's handy. handy. Is he but a young horse? Uh, nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Are you a married man, Paddy? Yes. <laughs> And uh, um, you're a native of this area, are you? Yeah. And you, you, you were born and reared and went to school yeah. and all around? That's right. This, uh, this area? This area, yeah. Balangari area? Yes. A great Irish speaking. I suppose Best. you're a fluent Irish speaker, are yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. Nothing like it. Now, Paddy, you have another one tune have you to give us? I have a cheek now to play. A three Two. Cheek. Right, right. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, uh, uh, Paddy Quill. There's no doubt about it, Paddy, but you're, a go uh, you're fairly handy now at the Old Melodion with your four steppers. That was the type of music that was going many, many, many years ago. That's right. Now we're returning over here to Kathleen Welsh. Kathleen sang uh, uh, some time back for us, and Kathleen, what are you going to sing this time? Shano Deering Lana. Shano Deering Lovely. Malach, I 
Sigar of a quid gain. Ach, a nish son wheel, the yarra. Triel hamid har hollo. So he ani wheel a glana. O tan to gan Session moignus father Scam a clusta yara on a doigum laha Bus boss in son's bed Mohair in swerk the Gunshadlu na estir the vin her gram than lana a man yell a green Thank you, thank you, Kathleen Welsh. Uh, it was a lovely song indeed, a lovely Irish song. Um, now I, I have with me and Maria Salomon here. How are you enjoying the night, Annie Maria? Really nice, enjoying the night, Joe. Thank you very much. And the crack is mighty. It is, and from the response to the applause, it is. It is very good. Is there any have any message for Marine Hurley and Benden and the, and the, and <laughs> and your partners and Saint Benden who we're working with every day? John <laughs> Green and Marine Hurley and how many more? Well, if I'm late in the morning, be a good excuse. <laughs> they'll, they'll have a good excuse. Uh, I'll have a good excuse if I'm yes, late. Yes, yeah. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Yeah. There's no doubt about it, but Ben Ben Gary is a very happy place to come to, and there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it, but we have some musicians, some singers, and a whole, uh, a grand group of people. And we have some young people also. Now, uh, everything is set for our next, next act. We have Johnny McCarthy and Johnny Toomey, uh, and Johnny is singing uh, with the guitar. On fateful night, in the wind and the rain, we set sail from Killy Bakes Town. Our fishermen, from sweet Johnny Gall, and one from County Down. We were fishermen who worked the seas and never counted the cost. But I never thought here that night was dim. That my five friends will all be lost So here's to those who are dead and gone The friends that I love thee And here's to you when I'll bet he would do Sing Johnny Gall Danny's been here me boys Johnny Gall Danny's been here One fateful night and the wind and the rain we set sail from Killy Bakes Town. There were five of us from Sweet Johnny Gall and one from County Down. We were fishermen who worked the seas and never counted the cost. 
But I never thought Here that night was done That my fine friends will all be lost So here's to those That are dead and gone The friends that are in love with I'm here to you When I'll bet here with you Saying Danny Gall Danny Been here before Danny Gall Danny Been here And drove the boat about rocks about ten miles from the shore. As we fought the tide, we hoped inside to see our homes once more. But we struck the rock and hauled the boat, and all of us knew that she'd go down. So we all jumped in to the icy seas and prayed. To God we wouldn't drown At St. John Pint in the early morn I dragged myself on the shore And I cursed the seas for what she's done And vowed a sailor never more So here's the door that are dead and gone The friends that I love you I'm here to you, when I'll bed here with you Sing Johnny Gold, Johnny, be near me boy Johnny Gold, Johnny, be Sad verse Well, ever since that night I've been on the road I've been traveling and trying to forget That awful night I lost all my friends I see their faces as yet and often at night when the sea is high And the rain keeps tearing at me skin I hear the cries of drowning men Floating over and away So here's those that are dead and gone The friends that I love to And here to you when I'll bed The end of our first career here in uh, Arnalea House, Bangeri, and we thank John and John O'Sullivan for having us along. We thank Anne Marie for helping us out. She's here alongside me, and I said next thing she'll be broadcasting from County Sound. <laughs> now we thank everybody who took part, and until next Sunday night, when we, we hope to be back again, we have all the musicians uh, around uh, Bangeri in here, and they'll play so. Take it away, lads. Thank you. 
You're all very welcome back for our second Sunday night and our final Sunday night for the script here in Arden Lee House, Ballingary. Uh, back here again with John and John O'Sullivan. That time you are listening to Jeremy Carty uh, on the box and Oliver Keane on the guitar. Now we'll have a song from Marion Tomey and she's, go she's accompanied by Oliver Keane. Take it away, Marion. Johnny was born in the mansion down in the county of Clare. Rosie was born by the roadside somewhere in County Kildare. Destiny brought them together on a road near Kalorkland one day. Neath the white lace shawl she was singing She stole his young heart away For she sang me, me tonight by the campfire Come with me over the hill Let us be married tomorrow Please let me whisper I will Who cares if your friends stop 
stop and stare You'll be proud to be married to Rosie Who's reared on the roads of Kildare Think of the parents who reared you Think of the family name How can you marry a gypsy? Oh, what a terrible shame Parents and friends, stop your pleading Don't worry about my affairs For I've fallen in love with a gypsy Who was reared on the roads of Kildare For she sang me, me tonight by the campfire Come with me over the hill let us be married tomorrow Please let me whisper I will What if the neighbours are talking Who cares if your friends stop and stare You'll be proud to be married to Rosie Who's reared on the roads of Kildare Johnny went down from the mansion Just as the sun had gone down Turning his black on his glim folk Likewise his dear native town Facing the roads of old Ireland To the gypsy love so sincere as he came to the light of the campfire These are the words he did hear For she sang me, me tonight by the campfire Come with me over the hill Let us be married tomorrow Please let me whisper I will what if the neighbors are talking? Who cares if your friends stop and stare? You'll be proud to be married to Rosie, who's reared on the roads of Kildare. Thank you, thank you, Marion Toomey. A lovely song indeed, The Roads of Kildare. Now we're coming back here and we'll have uh, a, a little bit of history about uh, Balangiri and no better man to give it and put your hands together for Donald Lairda. Now, Don, you're very welcome. There must be a stack of history around Balangiri. Well, I suppose I'm too young really to remember it, but I'll give you a, f a few, a few little bits. Erin Kidul says is a girl to take belong, Eric. I guess Tommy Don brought all this in, but it's all a Morocco comet, classical beer, like a county sound. Um, the first gone down, the first Irish college was um, formed here in Balangiri. And every summer, anyone visiting the area can see that many students learn Irish and have a good time in Bielan Gurig. And it's a great tourist potential to the area, and a lot of income is made from it. Um, going through the history books, we held Comortus Pelna in 1991, which I can tell you was a great success among all the Gultics, as I regularly visit the places. And um, it was well run. And in fact, we won it the same year. The next thing was two years ago, Avunia come on Dramiot Bilang Gurig. The Drama Society was um, reformed in Balangiri. Last year, we went to the All Ireland Finals. This year, unfortunately, we haven't reached it. But I think it shows the culture that's in Balangiri. As well as that, uh, there's a great music culture in Balangiri. And if you were ever around in Christmas time, around New Year's Eve, or that, you'd see. Uh, the music and all the songs 
that can be heard in Bilahan Gerig. The next thing is um, Gugan Barra, Morris Oldivis, Art Allinge, Gugan Barra, Tana Schleifte on, Agastha, Nalok on, and anyone interested in mountain climbing or hill walking can walk the beautiful mountains in Gugan Barra. Um, it attracts a lot of tourists during the summertime and it's a gold mine to the people of Bialang Gerig. The next thing is, on Stara Thai Buntle Bialang Gerig, Ta Galoro De Thai Buntle Shna Penal Times in Bialang Gerig, Ta Na Mastrox Timpleurring, Fresh and Thon Golan is here, the highest Golan in Ireland is situated in Bialang Gerig, and the Crumlin is also situated in Bialang Gerig. It's only a small bit I have to say about it because really, as I said at the start, I'm too young to remember most of it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my saying, okay? Uh, Don, uh, it's, a, it's a, a great Irish speaking area, and when the children or the young teenagers come to school here, it's all Irish all the way through. I mean, is it, it is, they keep constantly speaking Irish. Yes, indeed, Jeff. Is there any English in the, there's no such thing as English in the school, is there? Well, I can remember when I was five years old, five years of age, I had a word of English in my mouth. And uh, I must say, going through national school and secondary school, it's true Irish all the time. And I think it's a great benefit to everyone. In afterwards, when you maybe go to college or go on to further life, if you have Gaelge, um, as your native tongue, you're definitely going to get jobs either as um, in television, which is to come in a couple of years' time, or anywhere like that. Okay, it's no harm to have it. Great, and um, of course they come from all over Ireland to this to this Irish school here in in Ballingary, uh, during the summer. When the st when uh, the other schools are closed, or the students they come and they'll also enjoy the crack course. That's right, yeah. They come from all over Ireland, Dublin, you name it, um, Leitrim, Kilkenny, all those places, and they definitely have a great time. But they also learn how to speak Irish, and they they go back with the 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 Gaelge, more dear for their own lay. I guess it's on rotation. Uh, what about a uh, uh, couple of? Go bonds from Bandon if we came in. Oh, we have we have very little Irish. I wonder how old we go back. Well, I de I, I reckon if he stayed about uh, a week and a half, he go back with a few fucking Oilke. <laughs> <laughs> what about the GA sponsorship here? The scholarship, sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, the GA scholarships here. In That's right. Yeah, there's quite a few G GA scholarships um, given out, and they're all, they always come to Bill and Gerig, I suppose. Let's say that uh, it's the home of GA, really. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that for an applause behind us? No, uh, I don't. But after the success of last year, and hopefully the success that's that's to come in the follow in the coming year, no. and um, uh, they, they they couldn't come to a better place, really. No. Well, no fair play to you, and congratulations, and the best of luck, and put your hands together for Donald. Mila Morgan. <laughs> Now, Donald, you, you have a fine flow of Irish and yet there's no doubt about it. Now we have up here, Noreen, ring and Noreen. It's, it's the same. Right. Why are you stopped? It's me for a year and for a day. I have sought by every way her heart to gain. There is no art of tongue or eye Fond youths with maidens try I have tried with ceaseless eye I tried in vain If to France or far of Spain She would cross the watery main To see her face again the seas I'd brim and if not mine dear girl my snowy pressed it pearl may I never from the fair with life return oh that blooming milk white down to whom I've given my love do not ever thus reprove my constancy. 
there are maidens won't be mine with wealth of land and kind if my heart would be inclined to turn from thee but a kiss would welcome bland and a touch of thy fair hand is all that I demand would thou not spun if not mine dear girl my snowy breasted pearl may I never from the fair with life return there is a calling fair as men For a year and for a day I have sought by every way her heart to gain And there is no art of tongue or eye Fond youths with maidens try I have tried with ceaseless I have tried in vain If to France or far of Spain She would cross the watery main To see her face again The seas I'd bring And if not mine, dear girl My snowy breasted pearl From the fair with life return. Thank you, thank you, Nadine Ring, and she was accompanied that time by Oliver Keane. Now we have uh, uh, up here Johnny McCarthy. Johnny, give us a couple of tunes on the box. Take it away, Johnny. <laughs> Thank you. 
McCarthy, a lovely selection of music indeed. We only have a song again this time from Kathleen Welch. Right, Kathleen? How oft do my thoughts in their fancy take flight to the homes of my childhood away? The days when each patriot's vision seemed bright, ere I dreamed that those joys should decay. When my heart was as light as the wild winds that blow down the mire dike through each elm tree. Where we sported and played Need the green leafy shade On the banks of my own lovely leaf Where we sported and played Need each green leafy shade On the banks springtime of laughter and song shall I ever forget the sweet hours with the friends of my youth as we rambled along mid its green mossy banks and wild flowers and to sun sinking to rest shed its golden light over the sea the maid with her lover the wild daisies pressed on the banks of my own The maid with her lover, the wild daisies pressed on the banks of my own lovely. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Kathleen oh Welsh. Now we have Oliver Keane back, and Oliver is going to sing us a song. And Oliver, what are you going to sing for us this time? Well, this time, I can't remember what I sang the last time, in case I might sing the same thing <laughs> again. 
And uh, that would be terrible. Um, I'll sing a song. Um, I met this man in 19, uh, I don't know, 19, uh, 1985, perhaps. Yes. And uh, he's been 60 years in America, and he's from Dunmanway, Balna Carragher. And uh, he, uh, John Horahan is the man's name. There was B. Horahan's on the bridge in Dunmanway. They were yeah. saddle makers, harness makers, and they were all teachers. And uh, they lived under the ca- castle there in Balna Carragher. And he wrote the song, The Bicycle Michael. And uh, in his time, he took part with Liam Hales and Tom Barry and on the flying column of the West Cork Brigade. And as they say, the boy who's bait the black and tans of the boys from the County Cork. That's just right. Just no. kind of like America is the land of the brave and the free, except all the braves are inside in reservations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, okay. All right. Right. Oh, well, to be honor and song and story, the memory of Pearson McBride. Names who have long since made glory With martyrs who long since have died Forget not the boys of Kilmaica Those brave lads so gallant and true Who fought me the green flag of Ireland And conquered the red, white and blue on the 28th day of November, the tens left the town of Macroom. They were seated in two crossly tenders, which led them right into their doom. They were on the road to Kelmaico and never expected to stall. They there met the boys from the Collion And they made a clean sweep of them all The Kayla So here's to the boys of Kilmaica Those brave lads so gallant and true Who fought beneath the green flag of Ireland That conquered the red, white and blue At the sun in the west it was sinking, it was the eve of a cold winter's day. And the tens who were eagerly waiting sailed into the spot where we lay. And over the hill went the echo, the peal of the rifle and gun. And the flames on their lorries gave tidings that the boys from Kilmichael had won. So here's to the boys of Kilmichael, those brave lads so gallant and true. But need the green flag of Ireland, I conquer the red, white, and blue. So here's to the boys of Kilmichael, those brave lads so gallant. Fought me the green flag of Ireland and conquered the red, white, and blue. Thank you. Thank you, Oliver Keane. And uh, we're returning you to the studio on Bandon for a commercial break. There we are. Ah, oh, when Pat came over the hill, he's calling fair to see, he's whistle low but shrill, the signal was to be. Mary the mother, she cried, there's somebody whistling sure now, mother you know tis the wind, that's whistling through the door to me father da la la, me father da la la, me father da la la, that's father da la la la. Dog was barking now, you know, the fiddle can't play the tune, but mother, you know, they say, pig can't hear the tune, that's true enough by day, but I think you may remark that pigs no more than we know, can't see anything in the dark to me, father, la la, me, father, la la, me, father, la la, 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 father, la la, 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 Mary, I hear the pig, when in his mind. 
mud, you know this say that speak can see the wind. And that's true enough, mighty. But I think you may remark that pigs know more than we know. Can't see anything in the dark. To me, father, la la la. 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 I'm not such a fool as you think now. I know very well it is Pat, the homie whistling thief. And you get away out of that. Now you go into bed and don't play upon me, your dears. Although I've lost me sight now, I haven't lost me ears to me, father la la la. Me, father la la la. Me, father la la la. And father la 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 la. Well, chaps from court and go. And for your sweetheart's wait, take care not to whistle too loud. For fear the old woman might wake from the days that I was young. Forget I never can. I knew the difference between a fiddle, a dog, and a man. To me, father, la 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 la. Me, father, 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 la la la. My father, I love the Dolly. I must mention that I got this song from Uncle Christy, Christy Daniel Balamona, and he's singing it forever, and it's in his honor. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> Thank you, Irish. Uh, and what a lovely song. Hold on, Lovely song, a very comical song indeed, and she was accompanied by Johnny and the uh, guitar. Now we'll have three lovely ladies here, and Johnny's going to accompany me. God help him, the poor <laughs> fella. We have Kathleen Welch and Noreen Ring and Eilish Tommy, and they're going to sing an Irish song for us. So, accompanied by Johnny. Take it away, ladies. I'm sure I'm I'm not sing my winter rainy for the Nachturin a frying can, he lies to dish my knack. Chicky pear lawn, cool crab, a gisk, a grahashim along. Tom of winter lie here, a rug of dull and noon. Is Tom a hole Na weichet bon alum, da mengsche fehlt der Küchen klein, du der Uhr lass ne graun. A je, jelisch da weaving, je ges graum und krieg am Maul. Da mach lan, da peik ja bein, ja gom da wo er dach es blieb. Till er goss da mal, da gom da je hin brach Thank you. Thank you. I thank you, Eilish. Thank you, Eilish, Tommy, Kathleen Welch, and Orion Ring for a lovely Irish song. Now we're coming back here, and we'll have Oliver Keane, the fiddle, and he's a he is accompanied here by Johnny Toomey. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Oliver Keane was on the fiddle, and Johnny Toomey was on the guitar. Now, uh, could we have a small bit of order, please, because come up here to the microphone, and I think he's a very popular man in the area. He give a big bowl of boss there to Dermot Deneen. <laughs> now, Dermot, what are you going to sing for us? Jogger Punch. Jogger punch. No, nothing better, boy. Take it away. One pleasant evening in the month of June As I was sitting with me glass and spoon A small but sad and an ivy bunch And the song he sang was a jug of punch to la 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 to la 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 Tora lora lo, tora lora le. A small but sad on an ivy bunch, and the song he sang was that jug of punch. What motivation can't a man desire as to sit him down by a snug turf fire upon his knee, a pretty witch, and on the Table a jug of punch. Tora lora lo, tora lora le, tora lora lo, tora lora le. A small but sad on an ivy bunch, and the song he sang was a jug of punch. And when I'm dead and they dig my grave, no costly tomb, nor will I have. Just lay me down in my native peace With that jug of punch at my head and feet Hop to ra lo ra lo to ra lo ra le to ra lo ra lo to ra lo ra le A small but sad on an ivy punch And the song he sang was that jug of punch Thank you. Thank you, dear Madinin, the joke of punch. Now we're back here with Jory McCarthy again, and Jory can give us a tune on the box again. Jory, what are you going to play this time for us? Uh, we'll do a few reels. Just yes. to, uh, he's a com- sure. And he's accompanied there by Oliver Keane. Start off a number called uh, The Mason's Apron, and uh, we'll finish off the set with uh, the high reel. Good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Jeremy Carty. And uh, he was accompanied there by Oliver Keane. Lovely music indeed. Now we'll have a song from uh, Michael Moynan. And uh, Michael, what are you going to sing for us? My leg and love. Lovely. Lovely, Harley. If you can. <laughs> right? Yeah. Where leg and stream sing lullaby, there grows a lily fair. The twilight gleam is in her eye, the night is on her hair, and like a lovesick lad and she, she had my heart in thrall. No life I own our liberty for, <coughs> for love is Lord of all and often when the beetle's home had lulled into sleep I steal unto her shielding lawn and through the dooring peep. There on the cricket singing stone, she spares the log wood fire and whom in sad sweet undertone the song of heart's desire her welcome like her love for me is from her heart within her warm kisses fill a city that knows no taint of sin. And when I move my foot to go, tis leaving love and light to feel the one that longing blows from out the dark of night. Michael, Michael, uh, just one word with you there before you go, Michael. Um, you you have a lot of old songs, I suppose. I used to have them, but I, I'm going to practice. Did you ever play music? I played everything almost except the fiddle. Except the fiddle. I played the bagpipes, accordion, everything. I see. Can't you were brought up in a, a musical house, or were you? Oh, yes, that's right. Yes. That's right. And musical uh, and uh, Gaelic. And your, your father and mother uh, played music too today? No. No, they didn't. That's a peculiar thing. They didn't. Uh, do you remember the squeaking houses? Oh, yes. When the, all the neighbours would gather together? Oh, they would, yes. That's right. And they'd have a game of cards or something. And would they have a dance? They would. They would. In those days, they, 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 were, they were described by the clergy as houses of ill repute. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I suppose uh, oh, uh, the clergy would be after you if you were too late. Oh, yes. That's you, right. Did you go to the dances when you were young to the halls? Oh, God, I, I was 18 years before I went to any dance. Yeah, were you fond of the giddles? We were very strictly brought up. Were you fond of the giddles? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course I was. <laughs> Couldn't be natural if I was. That was only natural anyway. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And and was it in the in the dance hall you met your loved one? Oh, no, not it wasn't. Wasn't it? Wasn't just was it a maid match? Maybe was it? Yeah, it wasn't a maid match either. But just I knocked across her by chance, and we boxed it up, and that was that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shara, I suppose you 
you nearly remember when she said, will, will you marry me? And was it you who said it to her? God, I don't know. I you suppose it was. I forget. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to walk a lot at him. He had uh, edgy bicycles. Oh, we had, yes. You had right. bicycles. Bicycles, that's right, yes. And, and you, you went to school, I suppose, without any shoes? or. Uh, uh, well, uh, not so much in our area. You, you were fairly wealthy, as was the same. We weren't wealthy at all, but we, we used to have the boots the most of our time. I see. Yeah, I summer see. time, maybe we'd throw them up. And oh, how did you enjoy your school days? Oh, I didn't like my school days at all. No, they're tough, of course. <laughs> but all, all, all young fellas don't yeah, like I school. didn't like my school days. And there was all. terrible discipline in them days. Oh, fierce of the world. Yeah. Oh, dreadful. Yes. It was. And uh, you, you, uh, you, um, <coughs> Catechism, I suppose, was the worst. I mean, you know, the catechism, they were very hard in the catechism, were they? Oh, they were, oh, yes. When the bishop would be coming? That's right, the catechism and the life of our Lord and, and the Irish catechism. <laughs> I see. Do you see a big change now, Michael, since it's your young days? Yeah. Oh, there are big changes now. Big changes. Oh, God. Terrible uh, changes. Terrible changes, is right. In what way? I, no? think, I think changes for the worse, I think. Yes, uh, you think that it is changes or worse. We're, we're in a speedy age. Yes. Mass production, computer age. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, um, uh, you know, you're a great character. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the, the area around here... Uh, is a great area. You share the platforms in them days? Oh, yes. Uh, dancing out in the open. Well, the, the platform started up and there used to be platforms in outside areas like, like uh, out Raleigh you now and uh, over Cool Derry and the other side altogether. But uh, I was in the band, the Piper Band, for 23 years. And, and, uh, and uh, Ban uh, Gary Pipe Band? Yes. For 23 years? Yes, I was. But uh, we decided we'd put up a local platform. I see. Outside the village. Yes. And uh, it wasn't going long at all when one evening, on Sunday evening, the local curate, he landed up and he kicked the, the accordion player off the platform. We were all hunted down the road. Oh, <laughs> After going to the trouble of putting up a platform and spinning. Yes. Because that was, that was the God them days. That was the God them days. Yes. And by night, then, when it would be out, because you if you were anchored you, up, up against you'd the You'd be dashing the curate again because when the dance would be over, He'd come along with a flash lamp. Shine. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Stamp him. Oh, yes. Yeah. That'd be a stampede. <laughs> and I suppose, I suppose that'd be a sermon the Sunday after, would they? Oh, they would, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Would you ever cut out yourself with the, with the curate? No, no, I wasn't. You wouldn't stamp it all, no, were you? No, I didn't give him the chance of it. <laughs> we kept a well, good Well, of course, you were alert. Oh, I wasn't the alert. <laughs> you, you knew you knew he was around. Oh yes, I see. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Ah well, the matter the is, but uh, <laughs> they won't do it today, of course. Oh no. No, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> put your hands together there for Michael. He's a great character. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Michael. No. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our second night and our two streaks here in Arnalia with John and uh, John O'Sullivan, Belangieri. Uh, we had very good talent, and indeed, I take this opportunity in thanking Johnny, Johnny I call him, and uh, John O'Sullivan and his daughter, Anna Marie, for bringing us along here tonight and for... Um, collecting all the talent around and uh, indeed we had very we had two very good nights here so Anna Maria have uh, just a couple of words to say well on behalf of the O'Sullivan family I'd like to thank everyone who came here tonight and everyone who took part and I'd especially like to thank County Sound for coming all this way to tape the session thank you. no yeah, problem yeah, yeah. uh, Anne Marie thank you very much yeah. now uh, to finish up and uh, well, before we finish up, I hope we will be back here again in some uh, some future date when we'll join in again, maybe next year sometime. Please, God. Uh, to finish up, we have Eilish to me, and Eilish have a couple of words to say uh, about some person 
Um, and she's going to sing one verse of a song and then we have all the musicians to join in and to finish off with a selection of polkas. I'm told the time is scarce and the time is fast going, but before I leave, I would like to leave you with one verse of a song that I got from Con Moynihan, and I can't let him out because he couldn't be here tonight, and I would not do justice to the song, but I was told I was only allowed one verse, so I'll give Con Moynihan his Christy Ring song. Come gather round me, boys, tonight And raise your glasses high Come, Rocky, boys and sporting stars Let welcome hit the sky Come, counties, all both great and small Who boasts the Harling King can one tonight hold candlelight with Cork's own Christy ring? <laughs>